today's tech tip, I want to talk about some advanced mating techniques in Onshape. The pin slot mate is ideal for a rotational movement of a pin while also performing a translational motion. With the parts in an assembly and the block fixed, using the pin slot mate, the first selection is the pin to define the rotational axis, and then the edge of the slot for the translational motion. Limits for the translational and optionally also for the rotational movement can be set, and if the slot is on an angle, the secondary axis can be realigned. You can achieve the same result using a sketch combined with a tangent mate. This then also works for a non-linear slot. Again, both parts, pin and block, have been created in the same part studio. There are two separate sketches, but it would also work with just one. What is important is that each of the parts will be grouped together with the sketch that was used to create the geometry. A planner mate keeps the pin upright, while using a tangent mate with the vertex of sketch 1 and the center line of sketch 2 will have the pin slide along the curve. In the last and most complex example of a medical device, we have an internal part rotating inside of a housing while our pin follows along a 3D curve. To achieve this, a 3D fit spline is used to combine multiple line segments to a unified curve, and then a composite part is created to be used in the assembly to guide the sliding motion. The outer housing is grouped together with the 3D curve, while the internal part's motion is defined via a cylindrical mate with the external housing. The last step to complete the motion is the tangent mate, between the pin's vertex and our 3D curve. That's it with today's tech tip. Thanks for watching and make sure to come back for more in the future.